we present a 3D user interface for augmented reality head worn displays for manipulation and visualization of 3D anatomic models. Our system uses a Microsoft HoloLens optical see through head worn display. One example where visualization and manipulation of 3D anatomic models is important, shown here using our manual user interface, is vascular interventions, which are minimally invasive surgical procedures in which a physician navigates a catheter through a patient's vasculature to reach a desired destination in the patient's body. Our hands-free user interface uses head tracking and voice input to allow users to interact with these 3D anatomic models while still having both hands available to perform other tasks. We conducted a user study with students to compare our hands-free user interface with a control interface based on hand tracking and voice. In addition, over the course of our development, we also collected feedback from physicians with whom we are working. Participants in our study were asked to repeatedly match the position, rotation, and scale of a virtual 3D anatomic model of a heart with those of a copy of the same heart model. These snippets are from a pilot study in which transparency transformations were also studied. With our hands-free user interface, users use their head to transform the 3D model. Further, users use their voice to switch between modes and adjust settings. Our rotation and scale transformations are implemented using first-order control, affecting the rate at which transformations are applied to the selected model. The further from the center the user rotates their head, the greater the transformation rate. Once a transformation is started, if the user keeps their head fixed, the transformation will continue at that rate. Rotating back towards the center of the model will pause the transformation, whereas saying stop will exit out of the transformation mode entirely. Our translation transformations are implemented using zeroth order control. As the user moves their hand or head, the model will move around accordingly. Using our hands-free rotation transformation, as the user rotates their head away from a center window fixed relative to the model, the model will begin to rotate towards the direction the user is now facing. As the user rolls their head, the model will begin to rotate about an axis from the model center to the user's head. When scaling, as the user rotates their head towards the right or top of the model, it will scale up. As the user rotates their head towards the left or bottom of the model, it will scale down. Please see our paper for a full description of how the techniques were implemented. In the second approach, treated as a control, Participants were required to use their hands and voice to transform the model through our system's manual interaction technique. This approach uses the same voice commands to switch between transformations. This approach uses the Microsoft HoloLens's standard tap and hold gestures. When the HoloLens detects that the participant's hand is tapped to the model and is holding it, the selected transformation is applied to the model. For example, in translation mode, hand motion in a certain direction will translate the model towards that direction. Rotation can be about any axis in a plane parallel to the screen or an axis from the model center to the user's head. Hand motion right or left of the model will rotate the model about a roughly vertical axis, while motion up or down will rotate the model about a roughly horizontal axis. To rotate about an axis from the model center to the user's head, the user says Z-axis and then moves their hand right or up for clockwise rotation or left or down for counterclockwise rotation. In scaling mode, rightward or upward motion of the hand will grow the model, where leftward or downward motion of the hand will shrink the model. Please see our paper for a complete breakdown of the results of the user study.